Hey guys, it's Rick around for here, Rick for short, and yes, I have another League of Legends video, and this one's featuring, I'm not sure if I talked about it, but it's a sort of new way of doing my recording, so uh, I pre-record the video and then I do the voice later, so uh, as you can see probably, uh, I am playing Malzaha, and the quality's not that bad, uh, and it also allows me to speed it up better and whatnot, so I can, uh, because when I'm uh, recording it, like, uh, live you could say it's not really live but semi live um there's sort of a lot of pings going off uh but i tend not to skip the really boring parts like just farming but if i go through the video first without audio it's sort of like i'm not concentrating on the audio so i can just skip through all the boring parts and uh get to the main parts so it's so it's a bit better and uh yeah so basically I'm going, this is a ranked game, and they're stealing, our team's stealing their red because we saw them at their blue, and as you can see, Rise came from their blue side, so we knew they were starting blue. So, Rise and Riven, uh, not Rise, Riven and Olaf just trying to steal their blue. So, Olaf, uh, not Olaf, Malzaha is, uh, an AP caster, if you didn't know, and he's one of my favorite champions right now, uh, Hence why I have Prince Malzaha. That's an amazing skin. Uh, so basically, he has his passive is basically sort of like a voidling type thing. And uh, there we go, flash coming out from that Teemo. That was a nice gank. Uh, every four spells he he casts, uh, voidling comes out, and basically it just attacks and it grows stronger over time, and it prioritizes uh, those that have his E on on them, or his ultimate uh, with the latest patch, and his ultimate is, I believe, called Nether Grasp. I can't really check now. That's only the only downside with it. But um, basically, it, it suppresses an enemy and deals damage to them. And his E is Malefic Visions, and it basically uh, is like it deals damage over time. If it kills a unit, if sorry, if a unit dies while it has it on and Shen die, uh, killing our Lulu bot for first blood looks like they're still continuing to fight and I have delayed audio Ash is going to uh, be able to kill Alistar but unfortunately she's going to die to Shen I'm not sure if that's the actual video or if it's just my computer but there seems to be a lag delay anyway so if your Malefic Visions kills a unit you gain mana back uh, and you also, oh, Olaf getting a kill on Fizz there. Uh, and it also goes to the closest, uh, unit around it within a certain radius. So, uh, I normally tend to max this first. It just, it makes farming easier and it's great, great poke because your Q you can sometimes miss. Which is basically that, uh, sort of, uh, double, it's like that line skill shot and it silences anybody hit by it. It used to be in two shots it dealt damage but now it's just one shot from the latest patch because they did change Malzaha a little bit around. So as you can see my Malefic Vision's just bouncing to uh, different units. So Malzaha in my opinion is probably one of the stronger uh, AP med champs. Uh, as well, if you can get your Voidling charge up, then you can just use your E on the enemy champion, and what uh, will happen, will the Voidling will go over to that champion and start attacking it, and it actually can deal quite a fair amount of damage for that harass. So it looks like Ash getting another kill bot. Looks like they're going after the Shen, but doesn't look like they'll be able to kill him. Oh, looks like there is a kill. I'm not sure if it's just my audio or the video, so I'm just going off the video. Looks like I'm getting ganked mid uh, from the jungle fizz. Um, I'll probably write in the description who's in what lane. It just seems easier because I can't really check or say anything now. So just chopping a ward in the bush, uh, brush because I knew that uh, might come round to gank again. And I didn't want that to happen. So his W is a sort of pull on the ground that deals damage over time based on their maximum health. So the normal combo is you E them, then you silence them, and then you W on the ground underneath, and then you ult them, and it will deal a lot of damage.
hopefully kill them. And you also pop Ignite. So as you can see, I was able to pop Ryze's Flash there just by simply uh, putting enough damage so that he would think that I would ult him. If he, still, uh, if he stayed around, I probably would have ulted him, as well as my W and Ignite, so I probably would have been able to kill him. But, uh, yeah, uh, if he flashes, it's fine. So I knew that he was going to be a, it would be a while since he got back, so I just tried to push this wave to the turret. There's not much there for him to uh, miss out on anyway, so it's fine. For him, at least. I haven't done a recording in a while. Radio, so I'm going to recall, uh, but he's going to try and stop me, so I'm going to put my, uh, all my abilities, basically, on him, and unfortunately, Ash is going to die, but I'm going to be able to kill Ryze just by using a combo. And I was able to uh, nuke him down from full health down to zero in one shot, so... That's basically what you can do with Ryze. Uh, I'm building a Catalyst. I started Doran's, and I went Boots, Catalyst. Uh, well, I haven't got the Catalyst yet, but I, I like to go Catalyst first because, uh, especially against a Ryze, because Ryze is going to build tanky, so I want to sort of cancel that with my own tankiness or more uh, Magic Pen, but I don't really like magic uh, buying early Magic Pen, unless it's Boots. So I prefer to go Catalyst and also just rush that rod of ages because then I can get tanky and those stacks can build up and I'll be able to be set for building my main damage items uh, but if I can go back and like if I've got my catalyst uh, uh, I might like if I have a crap load of gold I might just buy a needlessly large rod instead uh, it just feels better to have a crap load of AP than just a little bit more um, health and as you can see that I failed one ward so I had to place the other because I am retarded. Right, so it looks like a gank going on top. So it looks like Olaf and Riven going to go after this Teemo. Teemo flashing, but it looks like Riven's going to go after him. Going to fail a stun, from my point of view at least. And it looks like Teemo's just going to start laughing. So, looks like I've got delayed sound coming from everywhere. Looks like Ash and Lulu going after this Alistar, that Ash slow going, uh, dealing quite a bit of damage and helping them uh, chase after. And it looks like Alistar is going to fall to uh, Ash. Okay, looks like Fizz is coming here and I'm going to flash over the wall. And I'm going to go down to about 150 HP while Ash gets a kill on Shen. I was hoping that he would come this way so I could nuke him, so I got my W ready. But he went the other way because he's retarded. And Ryze did the same thing and went the other way. So no one actually, like, went for me. So it looks like we were able to get bot turret because bot has go been going really well. I believe they're going, like, 6 to 1, 6 to 2 down on bot. And it looks like Olaf getting a kill on Teemo. So, uh, I was AFK right now for like a few seconds, so I sort of sped that up. And it looks like I've got enough for my Catalyst, and I bought a second Dorans because uh, I just wanted that a bit more early game AP and health. Uh, and it looks like Shen trying to save this Alistar. It looks like he did do that, but it looks like he might die because there is that slow from Ash going onto him. And he looks like he's getting really low, but they're not going to be able to kill him. But it looks like they've got Ryze now chasing after Ash and Riven now. And it looks like Ryze flashed? I'm not too sure. But it looks like they're going on to Ryze now. But here comes Shen and Alistar. I'm going to come along and it looks like this Ryze is going to be able to take down Riven. And I'm going to come in and slow-mo while there's the slow on Alistar. I'm going to pop my Malefic Visions onto that Alistar. And this is where I want you to pay attention, boys. I'm going to be able to get the kill on him. It's going to jump to the... Uh, Shen, and just in case, I will put my, down my W for just enough more damage, and it's going to kill him, give me a double kill, and then go on to the rise, and he's going to get low enough, and he's going to die and give me a triple kill, and it's going to go to the minion. So, uh, if you're able to put your E down early on a champion, then you're going to be able to quickly deal quite a lot of damage on an, on every enemy in a team fight. And there, I was able to nuke down Fizz, uh, because he for some reason decided to try and ult in and kill. 
And I wanted this blue, but this stupid Lulu took it. And I was very annoyed. But I didn't really need it because I did have my catalyst and I will be able to buy my Rod of Ages now. Zippy. Looks like I didn't. I bought Sorcerer's Shoes instead. So I did want that extra mobility. Uh, and I'm a uh, magic pen instead of going for that uh, survivability. I know that uh, I knew that they didn't have as much damage to nuke me down, so I just decided to go for more nuking damage. Anyway, so I do have blue buff now, and I was given it by someone. And it looks like Ash coming in here for a gank, and I'm going to be there. Was a nice Ash ultimate onto the uh, silence by me, so he wasn't able to flash away. I'm not sure if he even had flash. But I am quite low now, about half eight, a third HP. So we didn't want to fight here until I did get my health back up, which wouldn't be that f uh, far away because I do have that catalyst going. So it looks like Fizz going after uh, Lulu, and this is really, really bad when you have an AP carry failing against your support, uh, the enemy support. And yeah, they're one v one, and this Lulu was able to absolutely rape that Fizz. Anyway, so it looks like we're going to go after this dragon, uh, and there's the second uh, thing of footage, second video footage, video, whatever. And it looks like Ash is going to be tanking this, but she's going to get quite low, as that lifesteal isn't going to be enough, so I'm going to come down and help out, and take that quickly. The good thing is that with Mazaha is that he's basically all... Uh, AoE damage. So normally what you do is you throw down your Q so no one can put their spells out, then you use your W and your E to deal as much AoE damage as possible, and then you ult their carry so they can't do anything. And uh basically just uh Yeah, and you can down and as you can see there earlier I think I nuked down Fizz or someone like that and able to kill them quickly and then we were able to focus that Alistar and take him down. So I didn't I especially didn't ult Alistar because he does have that ultimate. If you if you are up against someone who has some kind of CC break, don't like that's why you should always check the enemy's items in case they have um like for instance a quick silver sash or a cleanse because then you want them like you want to use your silence or use somebody else's CC on them so they can use that cleanse cleanse and then you can uh, ult them then. For instance, I didn't want to use my ultimate there, I didn't want to waste it, and I didn't even need it, so I was going to be able to do that. Anyway, so I thought that this would be enough damage to take down Fizz, but I wasn't enough, especially that I didn't have my E on him, so I was very, very pissed off. And we were going to be able to hopefully take down this turret, as there was another wave of minions coming in. So we are able to take down that turret, and I did want to go push a little bit more or go for Baron and we did decide to push a little bit more into their base looks like Riven taking quite a bit of damage from that, from that Rise but looks like he took more damage from Lulu than Riven did from Rise Anyway, so it looks like a fight going on on top, and it looks like Teemo is getting chased by Olaf, but I'm going to try and go after this Teemo, and uh, they are going to be able to kill Fizz. I did want to ult this uh, Teemo, but he did go into the bush and then flash out, that was nice juking skills, and I did want to try and ult someone. I saw Teemo try to uh, place the shroom there, uh, so I did decide to warn the team by pinging, but... I'm not sure. I think my team does run into it in the end. <sighs> Excuse me. So, Riven getting taunted under the turret there. She's going to get quite low. I'm going to go after this rise. Going to be able to silence him. Put down all my skills. Take him down. He I'm going to get really low as well. And it looks like Olaf's going to be able to pick up the kill. So, I'm going to get ignited for some reason. Uh, I am getting quite low. And Thingo's going to come here and just randomly ult me. 
Uh, it is a low cooldown, so I'm not too fussed about it. Lulu being able to pick up the kill on Shen, and then we're going to go after this Alistar, and I'm going to be able to help out there, take him down, and actually effectively save that Olaf. So we were able to kill that Alistar. So we were able to get that, to uh, not toilet, turret, I was about to say toilet, excuse me. And I was able to get a needlessly large rod on my way back to base. And I should also mention, actually, uh, at that level 1, I like to max E, but at level 1 I like to text my, take my Q, because uh, it's just uh, better skill to do in uh, level 1 team fights because it does have that silence as well in the beginning at the fountain you can also charge it up to get your voidling ready so if you do it uh if you do have a level one team fight then you can actually bring out that voidling because the voidling can do a fair amount of damage uh in a specific way like if you if you bring it out early enough it can if unfortunately you can't control it using alt click like most clones or whatever which i really find uh annoying and I think that Riot should probably do something about it, but, you know, not something I can really change. So just throwing out my different abilities, and this Alistar basically effectively missed everything and popped his off ultimate for a random reason. And I did want to go to this Shen because Shen's quite squishy against me, uh, and I was able to nuke him down quite easily. And if you are playing against a Malzaha, don't buy uh, health. I would uh, buy uh, uh, magic resist because health, his W just takes down percentage, uh, uh, like a per uh, by percentage of health, uh, whereas buying magic resist actually effectively will lower the uh, damage in general. Uh, so, it's probably preferential to buy magic resist against him. Uh, if anything, if he's causing any trouble, just buy a Quicksilver Sash, and I'm just going to throw down my Silence. Uh, I'm not sure if I even use my Silence, but I did want to help out this Ash as she was getting quite low, but she is going to be fine as she takes down Alistar. And it looks like this Shen or anybody else can't do anything. So, there was a quick screen of the, uh, thingo, and... And it looks like they're going to surrender, so that's going to be GG. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Thanks, guys, for watching. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe. All that jazz. Leave a comment on who would like me to play next. Thanks, guys, for watching very much, and I hope you enjoyed this new type of gameplay. And I'll see you guys next episode.